And what's your name then? Richard Hugo. Richard Hugo, yeah. and he built this. What year Volkswagen is it? 67. 67 Volkswagen, and you uh -huh. put this machine shop uh -huh. owner, and you put this motor in here. Yes, uh-huh. And you got 24 batteries. In the front. In the front. 12 in the back. 12 in the back. Uh-huh. Wow, this is so cool. It's fairly simple. And That's the inverter right there. You got a, a throttle right here. That's a uh, Hall Effect throttle, just like most modern cars use now, you know. We don't use a direct link, it's all fly-by-wire. Wow, fly-by-wire. And then this so, is just a cooling fan. There's fins behind this because this puts out the most heat, the inverter. So it so, doesn't even get hot? Or no, uh-uh. And about a 100-mile range? Yes, uh-huh. 100-mile range. And how, many, how long to charge it up? About six hours with this charger. You know, you can get a bigger charger and right, uh, right, 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 yeah. and that's just 110, just 110. Oh uh, no, 220 you, single you, phase. Okay, uh -huh. you hook it up to 220. Yeah. And what's the top speed on it? Oh, uh, it's better than stock. I cruise at 65 on the freeway easily. I mean, it'll go 80, but yeah. And what did all this cost you here? Well, I got about 20,000 invested in it. With right. The cost of the car. Right. Uh -huh. And how much was the car? I paid thirty-five hundred for the car. Okay, so yeah. sixteen five yeah, for the uh -huh. for I the sold motor, the, the gas motor for like three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're right. Yeah, uh huh. It still uses the stock transaxle and clutch and all that. Does the DMV have any say in any of this or uh, anything? I uh, haven't registered yet yeah, as yeah. an electric vehicle, but right. they'll allow that. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and then you can go on the dyno lane. Yeah, a lot lane. of people do this. I'm, it's not, oh, yeah, you know, not that, that uncommon. First but, time I've seen it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I the, the reason I chased you in here is because I like the car, uh -huh. you know. I owned about five or six oh, or seven okay. Beetles yeah, over I the years. Yeah, a couple myself, too. <sighs> yeah. Wow, very nice. But there's a company down in Ontario, California called... Uh, uh, HP EVS, High Performance Electric uh, Yeah, in systems. Ontario. Yeah. Okay, and that's and, where you could the, get... Yeah, that's where I got the motor and the inverter and the wiring harness. Yeah. It just works out ideal, doesn't yeah. it, in the, uh -huh. in the VW? Yeah, exactly. And the drivetrain is all stock? I mean, yeah, it hooks... Yeah, all stock, yeah. No, wait a minute. Wouldn't... I mean, that goes into... That feeds the differential? Yeah. yeah that's, or the transaxle? Yeah, just, uh, feeds just the where the motor was hooked up. I just, oh, okay. I just, just where the adapter. motor, yeah. Because I know a lot of these electrics eliminate all that. You know, yeah. They some got a, people, yeah, have right. a single, yeah. Right. So but you the, still have a shifter. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Right. It just hooked into it's where almost the, like a semi-automatic. Because when you come to a stop sign, you don't have to push the clutch in because the motor stops just, completely. You know. Right. Right. So there's that. Yeah. You yeah. Have that, but in between at speed. You, you still need to clutch, clutch. Yeah. right? Uh -huh. But you don't need to push it in or, yeah. or take it and put it in neutral. Yeah, exactly. You don't really yes. need to put it in no, neutral. Uh -huh. Yeah, to stop because it won't you just die. Get the brake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's very cool. Yeah, Thank you, you very much. Oh, okay. I'll take here. a look at that. Oh, I almost fell off the bike. Not as agile as I used to be. <laughs> That's where the gas tank used to be there. Right. Yeah, and then I, I kind of cut that shelf in and made a sheet metal shelf and welded that in for the rear, those back batteries there. Incredible. Uh, and how, how about the weight of the car? Uh, it's Is probably it... only about 200 pounds heavier than stock. Right. The stock motor obviously was a lot heavier than that electric right. motor. Right. But then yet the batteries... Right. You know, so it's probably about 200 pounds heavier than... And it would you know, shift it to the front a bit, wouldn't it? The, wouldn't the weight go to the front? Yeah, uh -huh. I've got coilovers, adjustable coilovers, so I can adjust it. But it actually came out, you know, it rides Handles nice. Very nicely, yeah. Just the torsion bar, suspension... Yeah, I've got a heavier-duty torsion bar on it. I, okay. the only suspension... And it doesn't I mean. understeer? Maybe no, it steers better. I mean, now it, maybe it's better. Yeah, it's got it a won't little oversteer. more weight. It's a little smoother, too, you know. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be damned. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I'm glad I... I'm glad you took the time to talk all to right, me about no this. Problem. It just looks all the same. Uh -huh. That's the charger right there. Uh, right. Yeah, uh -huh. And where does the plug go in? I got it right over here. 
that way I have this is a called a J1772 so I can go to public charging stations and plug in here that's so that's the you know the standard right, EV right. charging plug that you have and, on a, like a you know a, and you have that at home too you yes uh -huh. turned your 220 yeah I had single a, phase yeah I use a dryer plug and then use this you know with a short cable right, right. use the J1772 uh, very clever yeah. well done and then you got is that your gauges uh -huh, takes yeah, the place? I got an amp gauge and tack and you know uh, temperature and all that stuff yeah wow. That almost looks like a hot rod in there too, you know, no floor. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, I haven't gotten the carpet going. kit yet. I just got it going, <laughs> going March 1st. The, right. So I've only got like 1,500 miles on it so far, but so far it's been really reliable. Yeah. yeah. Nice car too. Mm -hmm. 3,500 bucks the car was. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where'd you buy the car? I bought a guy downtown here who's in locally. Yeah. It had a little rust, but it, yeah, and it's got uh, some body damage over on the other side. It's still in pretty good yeah, shape. Well, yeah, it is. I buffed it out. It, the paint was kind of faded, but I just hand rubbed it with some polishing compound, you know. Right. Yeah. So very nice. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. That's the. Uh, a one-off year they made a lot of changes after 67 well wait it was I had a 60 my first one was a 66 yes yeah, and that was the, the 1300 that was the one-off I mean yeah that, this was a 1500 uh -huh. and then this before is a 15 and then right. after that they went to the 16 right this has a different oh, you door mean handles it has a different right here there's a few uh, several things on here the like those those backup lights that's the only year that had those backup lights after that they put the backup oh, light no in kidding. here right oh yeah. i didn't realize uh -huh. that those, i thought these yeah. almost look like aftermarket no uh, those are original yeah well my 66 you know is my first volkswagen i bought it about 1970 or 71 from a girl in santa monica i think i paid about 700 and some odd yeah. dollars for it 750 uh -huh. and it had the it had a sunroof and the pop-out rear windows all right and yeah. i was i still remember driving home from santa monica long beach uh -huh. just feeling so happy in my new all volkswagen right. you know <laughs> just like oh man yeah. never forget it yeah my first car was a 65 i bought bought it for 500 dollars from my uncle your first car ever yeah was a, was a 65, 65 dw uh, yeah that's what got me into beetles and, yeah you know i know everything about them. it rebuilds the front end and the brakes and everything oh they're easy yeah, yeah. exactly they're and everybody simple design you know well and you've got the mechanical yeah. background and the tools yeah exactly i do sheet metal work too that's how i've made all the battery boxes and you know all the bracketry and everything for it put so. you on youtube you don't care do you no <laughs> kind of a ham, are you? <laughs> no, you should be you, proud you're one of this. Of the first people that have no, even well, stopped me. Yeah. Well, and it, because you know, I didn't even notice that it wasn't making noise. You yeah. know, because you could hear them. Yeah, like, I you drive could through here just all silent. Nobody noticed. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm coasting in or something. Yeah. You know, you gotta watch out. They don't walk behind you. You know, because they won't hear it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like the electric cars. Yeah. Well, that's very, very nice. Like you know, I mean, it's all... Three years, you know, a lot of uh, research on the internet and whatnot. Right. Yeah. Three years all together. Yeah, uh -huh. just Work. working on weekends and stuff, you know. But if you did one now... If I did one now, I could do it pretty quick. Knock it out in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. could start mass you producing know, I do a lot them. of CAD work, so all, all, my, all my pieces and all my drawings are on CAD, you know, and I have uh, CNC programs for all the parts and... So, you know, I can just duplicate it pretty easy. But you're, do, you, do you still have your business? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Rincon Engineering right up here. Okay, yeah. I go, we go by it all the yeah, time uh -huh. on our bikes, you know, yeah. when we're My going there. My brother that. and I own that. Oh, uh -huh. very My cool. My father was a founder. He passed away a couple years ago, but... My Tur brother and I have been running it for okay, yeah, 20 I just, years now. All right, yeah. yeah. Well, he retired like 20, 25 years ago, but... But you're not going to go into the business. No, uh, it's not feasible. <laughs> it's, it's, no, no the amount the, of time, yeah. It wouldn't make any... Mm -hmm. No, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Did you guys go to engineering school? or? No, nah, uh, I just pretty much learned everything on the job. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. You know uh -huh. what? I'm kind of a... 
thank you for telling of hard knocks you know <laughs> thanks for saying that you know because i i'm always i'm sort of like in this libertarian unschooling uh-huh school of thought you might say yeah and uh -huh. I have, in fact, I have a friend, you kind of look like him. In fact, a good friend of mine who's a mechanical engineer and he worked for North American or Northrop for many years, retired there. And he's always, he's just, oh, got to look at their degrees, you know, got to have, you know, they got to have all this yeah. stuff, you know. I mean, uh -huh. I can't persuade him otherwise. And I've said, well, you know, I don't know if you ever heard of the, I think it was called the Horton Brothers in Germany. They uh -huh. they built a jet airplane, you know, it was, uh -huh. I, I can't remember the designation of it, but it was all, really almost a stealth, a beautiful airplane. And if you look, research it, they never went to, they never had the formal yeah, education. Uh -huh, yeah. You know, the Wright all Brothers. The hands on and just some yeah, mechanical right, ability and, right. and experience. You I know? mean, you couldn't probably do a drawing maybe that or you probably maybe you could but mm -hmm. the, you know they the in inspectors you know and the permit people would say why well, you don't have the credentials you know yeah, they stick yeah. you there uh -huh. so then you have to go get somebody with the credential yeah exactly. that signs off on yeah, your sign work it off although right. you're the one doing all the work and the design right but yeah you need somebody with a credential to sign it off right yeah so interesting wow well, I don't, don't want to hold you up here, but it sure was great talking to All you. All right, you too. And, What's and your name? Steve Close. Steve? Richard right. Hugo. Yes. Nice meeting you. You too. Yeah, well, I'll shut this off now.